Good morning and welcome back. It's been a while since I've posted anything. Um, close this door. It's been a while since I've posted a video. And the reason I haven't posted in so long is only because my schedule has kind of been all over the place. Like my life, like my personal schedule has kind of been all over the place. And I'm trying to get back on track and in a way holding myself accountable by recording myself. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do a week in my life. So I'm just gonna kind of get like little snippets of every day. And yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Today is going to be half a work day and half a wedding plan day. Um, I have some just in case we can't go with them and also if maybe they um, already booked for the date that we need them so um, yeah so today's half working half wedding planning I have two facials today and then I have um, Tayanta Diaz on pure skin and then I also have two clients that are waiting on a skincare routine so we're gonna be busy, busy, busy today. Okay, I'm gonna finish my hair and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, we have our outfit on. We're wearing Nike long sleeve scrub pants and really dirty old Converse. And then we're gonna pack our bag. I don't know if I've ever talked about it or shown it to you guys, but I just wanna show you really quick what I use, like what bag I use for work um so i use this little bit bag from amazon but it's really nice because it has like these wires at the top so when you open it it opens like really wide and you put your laptop in here comfortably your ipad you're not like struggling if you know what i mean like to put stuff in here because it opens up so wide and it's easy to get things out so what i take to the suite is always a journal um I use this either to journal like my thoughts or as a to-do list, but I always have it with me. So a journal, my iPad, I'm gonna take my laptop today because we do have some wedding planning to do. I don't always take it. Um, and I know it kind of looks like you're going to school when you take a whole book bag to work, but I'm going for convenience, not style points, so. Um, I'm also going to take my glasses in a contact case because my contacts are kind of, I stuck with them by accident. I forgot that I had them on, forgot to take them off. So every time I sleep with them, they get a little annoying. And my, and my AirPods. We have made it into the car and I am dying. If you can hear the AC, I'm so sorry, but there's absolutely no way I'm not blasting this AC right now. Why is it so hot? Oh my God, I'm sweating bullets. I don't even know if you can see me well. Is this better? I don't know. I got any water. 918 now um my first client's at 11 but i wanna i don't mind getting to the suite a lot earlier because regardless there's like i mentioned i have to send two of my clients a skincare routine um i just got stuff to do so i don't mind 
pulling up earlier, just sitting there and working on the things I need to work on. Um, versus just being at home, I once I'm ready, like and dressed for the day, I like to just head out. I hate like sitting around my house when I'm already dressed to start the day. If that makes sense. Okay, we made it to the suite. I had to carry the laundry basket from like so far because there was no parking spaces in front of the suite. Um, but yeah, so I brought the laundry basket and now I have to put it all away. So let's do a quick little montage of me doing that. crazy person right now um my face is like really red because i don't know if i've mentioned this i think i mentioned this in like the last vlog but or maybe i didn't i don't know but my shower is like not really working properly so i don't get like i can't regulate the water it's either super hot water or super cold water so that's how I've been showering for months now, where I literally have to stick an arm in, stick it out. You know? Because the water is burning hot and I'm not gonna shower with the freezing cold water. That doesn't make sense. Anyways, it is 11.24 right now. It's been several hours since the last time I talked to you guys. I don't know when the last time was. But yeah, I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna do a hair mask, I'm gonna do my skincare. I'm gonna wrap it up for tonight. Well, not even, I have some stuff to do with my laptop. And then maybe read a little bit. I mean, it's already 11.24. Well, yeah. And my goal for tomorrow is to be up at six because my first client of the day tomorrow is a bit later, it's at 10.30. So technically I could sleep in a little bit longer, but I'm trying to get myself in a good routine of waking up at 6 every day. I'm doing my cardio and starting my day by moving my body and stretching and all that. So, I have been used to having two alarms, one at 6.30 and one at 7. My 6.30 is to like kind of wake me up and then give me another 30 minutes to fully wake up. And then at 7, I get out of bed but now I'm trying to be up at 6. So... We'll see, at least be up by 6.30. So I'm setting a 6 a.m. and a 6.30 a.m. And I'm just talking about it so I can hold myself accountable. So when I wake up tomorrow to the alarm, I don't just keep sleeping. I actually get up. Let me put a robe on real quick. Okay, let's get this hair mask in my hair. Oh my God, do I have gasp? I don't want to do this hair mask anymore. I was really motivated, but now, now I'm really not, but I'm going to force myself because my hair has been really dry lately, like very gross, so let's, let's do it. I'm using this one from Function of Beauty. I want to sleep with this hair mask in and then do my hair in the morning at the time it permits. I should have enough time, so this is what the plan is. I'm gonna be up at latest 6.30 and I'm going to do 30 minutes of cardio. It takes me like five minutes to get dressed, brush my teeth, get dressed, put on like some leggings and a little sports bra, hit the treadmill, 30 minutes of cardio, 10 minutes stretch, so 40 minutes total, and then shower, do my hair, get dressed for the day, coffee, breakfast, and head out. So I should have enough time, but I'm one of those people that really stresses time. Like, I'm always like really, really early to appointments. Like I'll be 30 minutes early, especially if it's like my first time going and I like, I'm not sure what place is or whatever. <laughs> like I'm really chaotic about it. All my friends know. Okay, I put the hair mask in my hair. I'm really just rambling at this point. So I'm just gonna cut the camera now. Um, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow at 6 or 
6.38 in the morning. We shall see. Good morning. Um, one, I'm so embarrassed to be looking like this in front of the camera, but yeah, this is what I look like this morning. Um, so remember all the shit I talked last clip about getting up at six? I didn't. Um, I didn't. I actually woke up to a text to my 10:30 client canceling. So I guess once I read that, I was like, I'm not getting up. Anyways, we're still going to get our cardio in. I also went to sleep at like 2 a.m. last night because a girl was just, I couldn't, I was on my laptop and I was wedding planning and I just couldn't put the laptop down until finally like I was too tired. So I didn't sleep, which is why I couldn't wake up at six and top of that, my client canceled. So I was like, I have so much time in the day now to do stuff i do have a lip filler appointment at three that i want to bring you guys to um it's just a touch up i don't know if i've mentioned this but i got hyaluronic acid filler um like with the pen it's been like three weeks already it's not too much of a difference um hopefully now with the touch up i'll see a little bit more of a difference So the good thing about having an at-home gym is that you can look crazy and it doesn't matter like I still have these insane pigtails on my socks are not matching at all and there's no one else here so so we're gonna technically be doing like 12 3 30 but my treadmill only inclines to 10 so it's gonna be a 10 3 30 and we're gonna start right now I'll check in in a little bit. Oh my god. Okay, bye. Okay. We are 13 minutes in. I am working up a sweat. I'm out of breath. I'm watching YouTube videos while I get through this. And we're doing it. Can't really see the sweat, but it's there. Okay. Okay guys, so clearly I just finished my lip filler appointment. This is what they look like. I need to wax my upper lips so ignore that, but they look really good. I really, really like them. So I didn't record when she was actually doing the filler because this time it hurt more than last time. Like it hurt so much more. I was like crying the whole time. The first time I got it done, it did not hurt me. Like, it was kind of like an annoying pain, but it was like doable. Like, it wasn't the type of pain where it's like, oh my god, please stop. Like, I'm over this. It was a doable pain. But this time, it actually hurt a lot. I do, I did record the first time I got it done. So I'll just add that clip in. I don't know if I even gave any information of the hyaluronic acid filler. In case anyone watching this like wanted to get it done. So basically, it's a pen that uses pressure to push the hyaluronic acid into your lips. So I have had needle filler with Juvederm, pretty sure it was Juvederm, um, over like a year ago. Yeah, over a year ago already, a year and a half, um, maybe even two years. I'm not even sure. It's been a long time. So I did the needle filler and that was a horrible pain, but I did notice more of a difference in my lips. You do get more immediate results with needle filler. Hi. Clearly, I am back home now. I just threw myself on my bed. Um, Ivan was supposed to have a flag football game today, and I wanted to record that and add this in this vlog. Or add the game in this vlog. But 
his game got postponed so all i'm gonna do now is honestly do more work on my computer i have two clients that i need to send out skincare routines to and more wedding planning <laughs> so i'm just going to end this vlog here today i think i got a lot of content today too so um my vlog tomorrow might not not sure kind of wanted to do a week in my life but i feel like i got a lot of footage today so i don't know maybe we may be not I'll probably start editing this vlog today too so yeah either bye and i'll see you in the next vlog or i'll see you tomorrow i don't know yet we'll see